This is just the Kaylee and Luna show. Everyone's gonna see that you're still in a cone on three weeks because Luna has an infection. She can't nip at the infection while she's on antibiotics, right Luna? Right? Whoa, Luna, you're just stealing the show. <laughs> stealing the show. Hey. <laughs> no problem, Luna, I'll just, I'll sit here. All right, so what are you gonna talk about? Okay, you're gonna lay down. What's up, Pops, how you guys doing? I'm doing great, thanks for asking. Luna is doing good too. She is still in a cone because she has an infection from when she had her staples removed, so she's on antibiotics and she can't lick at her wounds, so great. Awesome. So today is super exciting because we are gonna talk about act one in the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child book slash play. I love it so much. This is gonna have some spoilers in it, so if you guys have not read the book yet, please do not watch just because I don't wanna be the one that ruins it for you, please. Please. First of all, page 20, I was already hooked. If you don't remember, page 20 is where they were getting sorted and Albus got sorted into Slytherin and I was like, yeah girl, Slytherin pride over here, okay? Best house ever, IMO. But I totally get that Albus was like not down with Slytherin house, so uh, it was weird. Also, can we talk about how weird Scorpius is? Because he's like the opposite of Draco. Like he's just like, Scorpius kind of reminds me of Neville in like the first couple books where he was just this like weird kid that kind of follows everybody around. I'm sorry, but so far to me, my opinion of Albus is that he's a little butthole. Um, like I, I totally think he's a jerk and I totally think that he is like full of teenage angst and acting out way too much, but I also get it. He is Harry Potter's son and like, he has like such a stigma on him. It's just simply because this is the family he was born into. Like he is Harry Potter's son. So when he sorted into Slytherin, I can totally see how everyone's like, what? Harry Potter's son is in Slytherin? Oh my God. And he starts acting out and I get that. I get why he's acting out, but like also as someone who used to kind of have similar feelings, but not in regards to like being born to like a famous person, just like having like the angst of like not feeling like you fit in. So it's weird because like I identify and I get why he's acting that way. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Albus so far. Also don't know how I feel about Hermione and Ron's daughter Rose. Like she kind of makes me feel angry. The scene where they're standing and Albus says to Rose, like you don't have to stand with me. Like you don't have to be my friend. And she's like, I know, I'm just doing it in front of the parents. And I thought that was really messed up because, I don't know, like, for me, I'm kind of correlating this all to, like, depression and anxiety and, and like, it's hard because, for me, it kind of feels like fan fiction, but, like, I get that it's a story um, and it's just telling the story of Albus. But also, I don't like that no one's really helping him. No one's trying to open up. Even Harry, he's not being a good father. Like, from what I'm reading, I'm just like, there are so many things that you could be doing differently. Like, why are you not doing this thing? Or why are you doing that thing? That's not a good thing. Do you guys understand what I mean? While I was reading, I was texting Sama because Sama has already like read the book. So she's pretty much caught up and I'm texting her and I'm like, what is this? And she's like, see, you're having the same reactions that I am. So I can only assume that like a lot of people have the same feelings I do. It just feels weird. Like it's, it's so, it's so strange because I feel like I'm reading something that's not real. This like reaction is all over the place by the way, but I really do feel like I, it's not, it's not real. Like I'm not reading something that's real. Like, I don't know. Oh, and then wait a minute. Like the biggest, the biggest part like that I'm not even mentioning. What the hell happened with the trolley witch? I am so confused. Like, can anyone else just, like, make me feel... I'm getting chills talking about it because I don't understand. Like, I... What? This trolley witch suddenly grew, like, talony sword arms and, like, what? Like, throwing pumpkin pasties as bombs? Like, I'm confused. What is this? This is not written by J.K. Rowling. This is written by someone else who is trolling the Harry Potter community because what is that? Like I texted Sama and I was like, can you just explain? What am I reading? Like, what is this? Like, so is she not a person? Was she created for the train? I don't know. And then when she said like Fred and George also tried to escape the train, like, that whole, like, I just, what was she gonna do? Was she gonna kill them? Like, was she gonna slice them up and serve them in pumpkin pasties as bombs? Like, I don't understand. 
I'm a little bit confused, also frazzled, also really like freaked out because we see her like I, I know when we're reading the book and like she's the one that always comes in and says anything from the trolley dears and then when we see her in the movies and like we put a face to like the person in the book and like she was this like cute old lady thing and now she's like a crazy old lady who's like a weapon and uses candy as weapons. This is just like I have a lot of feelings about this like I don't understand like that was very like cause, uh, the more that I think about it, the like the otter it is to me, like I just don't get her uh, otter. Like otters. Like Hermione's Patronus. Okay, sorry, that was weird. I will be honest with you guys, I made sure that I read up until the end of that act, or that part, I, I still get confused if it's like part one, act one, or part act one, part one, I think it's act. But I read up until that first one and I stopped because I wanted to make sure that when I filmed it was my genuine reaction to that section and I haven't like moved on. So I will be starting now, Cursed Child, like the second act so we can talk about the next act in like my video next week. Please leave a comment down below and tell me I'm not the only one who was like completely weirded out about that fact. Like that was so strange. Also like what is this whole thing about needing to bring back Cedric Diggory to life? Like, is he like the key holder to like everything that's gone wrong? Like, I don't under- I just don't get it. I, like, Amos, like, wanting his son back, I get that. Like, he was completely killed in like the worst way, but like, to blame Harry for that, like, I don't think that's fair. I don't think I'll ever think it's fair to blame Harry for Cedric's death or anyone's death, because honestly, he didn't choose to be the chosen one. He didn't choose to be the one who Voldemort tried to kill and his he lost his parents. Like, he didn't choose any of that. Like, he didn't want people to die for him. So I think it's very unfair to blame him for the deaths that followed because honestly, if it wasn't Harry, it would have been someone else. It would have been Neville. Like, it would have been someone else. So to blame Harry for all of that, I don't think that's fair. I know I just said that like 17 times. But I do find it very weird that like, they're like, we need to save Cedric. Let's go back and save Cedric. Like, that's... I don't know about that. But also the vibe that I got from like Scorpius and Albus and like this, I forgot her name already. She kind of reminds me of like a Tonks character by the way, like Amos's um, niece. I guess like I just, I think it's because I'm not really like enjoying the scenes that she's in. But like the whole feels that I get from like Scorpius, Albus and her, it's like a Harry, Ron, Hermione situation, but like also not in a good way. So it doesn't make me like super excited. This video is all over the place. I'm like realizing that I'm just talking, like I'm just spouting off things, but I guess like that's what this is supposed to be, right? Like my honest reaction because I, I genuinely am very confused. I don't know how I feel about it. And also as I'm reading it, I'm like wondering simultaneously like how they are are portraying this on stage like as I'm reading and there's like something magical that happens or, or whatever like I'm just like how are they doing that on stage like it makes me want to see it in person I'm envisioning it in my head but I'm also envisioning it like I'm watching one of the Harry Potter movies so I'm using the visuals from what I've seen previously you know like I'm putting Albus like I'm using the, the, the kid from like the last movie like in my head I'm like okay this is Albus like it's weird by the way I just noticed that my lighting got like totally crazy because it's about sort of like thunder and lightning so it's dark outside and the only light is coming from my ring light Oh, fun. Oh, this is the lowest. Actually, it's not that bad. This is the light that I had it on. Let's put it right here. I think that's... What do you guys think? Is this better? I don't know. We're almost done with this video anyway. Regardless, I am like, I'm definitely enjoying the book so far. I really do feel like it's like the fan fiction that I never wanted. Like, it's kind of strange. I do want to read the next part so that I can experience this awkward fan fiction alternate reality of Harry Potter that I never expected. Also, Hermione, Minister of Magic, I am so okay with this. Get it, girl. Okay, you guys, well, I'm gonna go so I can read the next part, but yeah, these were my feels. I have a lot of them. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and leave a comment down below and tell me how you felt about the first part slash act. <laughs> I just, I, I get so confused. I don't know which one it is. And if this is the first video that you're seeing of mine, hi, I'm Kaylee. You should subscribe by hitting that red button right down below, and we can become best friends forever. Links to my Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, and Instagram are also down below. I'll see you guys in a few days with another video. Bye, everyone.